Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about how to solve oblique word problems. Now, when people think of oblique word problems, they generally think of uh, oblique triangles, uh, because typically speaking, we work with oblique triangle word problems. Now, that means triangles that are not necessarily right angles. Now, typically when you solve oblique triangle word problems, you often use this wonderful and powerful rule, the law of sines. Now, here's how this works. It's side A over sine of angle A, which is the uh, angle opposite the side, and that's equal to side B over sine of angle B equals side C over sine of angle C. Now, you can use any two at once to help you solve whatever um, sides and angles that you have. Now, you can also use the reciprocals of these, and it works the same way. Now, the bottom line is when it comes to solving oblique triangle word problems, as long as you use the ratios as they're meant to be used and be consistent about it, you should be good to go. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's a strategy on how to solve oblique triangle word problems.